Charlie. Meet Predator King. Predator King, meet Charlie. I think they'll get on fine. Greetings one and all, we're back for a Transformers review. A doll lick in my neck. Okay, um, yes, I think it's my first video since AA, which is fine. Fair enough, enough gap, I got a day off, I'm going to do a review. I went away, following the weekend just gone, went down to uh, Bream, 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 it's in Somerset, or down south, whatever. And, uh, of course, yeah, as you do, you buy shit. Because I never bought anything from that. I bought things from Bristol. I bought a full of Cyber on Starscream. Very simple. But I love it. He's fantastic. I also, I bought some mead. This is the traditional stuff they make in Somerset. It's actual mead. It's not a fortified wine. I did check that. And I had a sample of it before I bought it. I haven't opened it yet. And this is your other... The other kind of mead, kind of mead fetch going on here. It's really weird. I blame AA. I blame everything on AA. I do. Okay, so today's video per title page is for generations. Fall of Cybertron. Kickback. And here he is in his glass hopper mode. And he's all kinds of purple and gold. And I love it. I love it. It's really nice. Transformations a bit. If you haven't seen the played the game or looked at the box or anything and you come out of the box and just try transformation he's a bit odd you're thinking it's weird why does this should go around then does this come off no and uh, yeah eh. but eventually you, you figure it out obviously because you do you don't need instructions all i, all I have to do is look at the back of the box there you go back of the box oh back of the box um basic packaging for a generation of it. Toys R Us for twelve ninety nine. Long star screams. I bought both of them. Fuck it. And there's a side swipe there. Full side side swipe. But then again, I don't like the jazz. That little cock smoke just there. The one made out of horrible wispy plastic. If you put a laser pen behind it, you can see right through it. Okay. Um. Need to buy it for you, shall I? As a leader in his own squadron of Decepticons, Kickback is more independent than most of those under his command of Megatron. He uses his freedom sur to surround himself with friends, who then he blackmails into becoming his servants. Let's just put a veil over that, shall we? As I, said, as I stated earlier, this guy actually is a gloss hopper. It's the only Insecticon we've got out of the full of Cybertron line, all generations, which is a shame. He's just a nice little mold. He's a, he's, I, I, I'm actually growing really fond of this guy. I thought I liked the Starscream more. I do like the Starscream. The Starscream's really nice. But this guy just, he just, he just ticks boxes for me for some strange reason. Maybe because he's purple. I don't have many insect formers. No, I don't. I've got um, animated, animated Black Arachnia, animated Waspinator, um, Transmetal 2 Black Arachnia. I think that's it. I don't have the G1. I wouldn't mind getting the fans project ones, but they're expensive. And it's out the rain. And no one's got any money. I think it must be Soundwave and Toys R Us. I'm surprised I didn't buy that instead of buying those two. Hey, shit happens. So, kickback. 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 Obviously, there's not much gimmicks in this mode. He's kind of left. I wouldn't even touch him in this mode, to be perfectly fair. His legs don't, unless I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. His actual legs don't clip anywhere. They just sit there. And his um, abdomen thing here does not want to stay together properly, which is disappointing, in say the least, because it's a nice... The gold on that is absolutely... You can see that. Is lovely. The little gold motifs on this are absolutely lovely. Obviously, got this is a clear plastic for his wings. And look at his old insect noggin. Look at the insect noggin. Can I mow your lawn? 
obviously articulation, the legs move to a degree because you can have him super class up and more stonking boots on this guy, stonking boots. But the other legs at the front, they do nothing, nothing. So, yeah, you can forgive it. It's just the alt mode. The robot mode is where this little thing shines and shines, he brightly does. And Predaking just fell over. So that's a comparison that. Deluxe class, kickback. Scorponok. Energy on. <laughs> Scorponok wins. Yeah, he's, he's just standard deluxe size. He's bigger than... He's quite big, to be fair. You can make him taller with his legs. His legs extend to some stupid points of articulation. And you can make him a lot bigger. Okay, transformation. Easy. He says. Remove wing bits. You need them later. Has a, he has a weapon, but in this mode, I have no fucking clue where to put it, and it would look ridiculous. So, there we go. Alright, take those bits off, move these out of the way, like so, then this section here, you'll see it there, lovely gold and all that good crispiness. Let's pull that forward, and the head will slide forward. Move the legs to the side, like so. The arms are already separated themselves, because they don't want to stay put. Just spread them out into a big, massive... Cybertronian star mode. Right, so there you go. Um, let's get this. Yeah. This section folds up like so. And the legs. See these little hinges? It's got loads of little hinges in his legs that fold to there. See that? And then this one the same way. And then you just push those two together. Like so. And twist the legs around. Like so. See where I'm going? Just see where I'm going. Let's just get the arms in the right place. Pull those back a bit. Pull. Oh, stick this. Move these sections. I think something that way. Move these sections up. Very simple. Very unique. There's a tab on his chest area. There. This goes onto tab. Click. A good click. A good solid click. Everybody. And. This little plastic bit, fold down behind him, rotate the arms so they're facing the light direction. These little things, they're supposed to click back when you push them, but I can't get it to do it. I don't want to break him because I like him. And then you just twist, twist, yes, you twist his head round, twist, twat. It's a nice little head reveal, and there he is, full of Cybertron. Kickback. I do love this guy. I think he is stonkingly brilliant. He hasn't even got much kibble on the back. Anything like insect arms hanging off. It's not kibble, it's just display. Like Transparency Black Arachnia. I use two of those legs to help her stand up because she doesn't like standing up because those heels are kill her feet after a while. Bless. There you go. Get a little uh, close up. Now, doesn't that look lovely? Even if you give these stupid little extra shoulder bits to take out of his chest and the head sculpt. I love that head sculpt. I really do. It's almost Viacon-ish off Prime. I love it. It's great. It's like he could have been. A, he could be the the Viacon who got transmutated into an insect and then gone. Call him a kickback. Quite easily done. Quite easily. He's gangly enough anyway. But but then you're left with this. These little things that have the wings, right? They don't go anywhere properly on this. You can there's holes like in the side of the leg, so you can stick one in the leg, and then it looks like that, and it looks again, it looks stupid. Or you got one up here, and you can put it in there, and it just looks silly, 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 silly. I'll show you what you meant to do with it. Let me just uh, show you his weapon. Nice gimmick. I do like this thing. It's quite nice, but it's just too big. It doesn't go anywhere. But there you go. That's his weapon. You do, hang on, you do that. And then you push it, and it fires a disc. It fires a disc, guys. See all. Um, yeah. And then you're meant to put these into there, like so, to give him this kind of crossbow thing 
and it is just too big. Fucking dogs. It's just too big. See, this is the only thing that ruins it. He didn't need this fucking stupid weapon. You could have these things as actual swords. This is what I use them for. Use them as swords and have somewhere to actually store them. I don't like that weapon. But then you can just... They do fit in his hands. Yeah, a bit of play with them, but... There you go, he's got two Energon blades. Be nice if there's a little hole in just inside his arm thing so you can slide them in so they come out of top of his arms. That would look really good. But there you go. His blades, blades of doom. <laughs> yeah, so and that's it. But then when you're displaying him, you're left with a stupid gun. Now I found a nice little way to actually store it. There probably is might be a way to store this in his bot mode, but it doesn't always fit. So, what you do, you see these legs here, there's little gaps in between. There's little things popping off the sides. All I do is just... You watch, you won't do it now. I took, lo I took more time than I thought it would. And there you go, now he has this stonking great big backpack on his back. But at least you've got storage for it now, or else it would just go into the bag full of the rest of the crap that doesn't fit on your bot when you have him in bot mode. <sighs> Apart from the niggling gun, this guy is absolutely stunning. He is really, really good. Let's take this backpack off, shall we? And take the swords off as well. And let's just quickly go into articulation and size comparisons. Right. Articulation is quite nice. He's got some stonking boots on the bastard, so he can stand. He's got quite a good stand. But then you've got this kind of thing you can do with the legs if you just... Push it forward, and then you give him super booster feed. Almost looks like a walker kind of thing, doesn't it? Which is pretty cool, pretty funky. But then you just put those pop those back down, shall we? Articulation is good. It's got arms rotate 180 or 360. 180. They do. They both do 360. The legs are quite good. He's got a hip, no hip rotation. Uh, his head will move in various different poses and uh, his, his wrists will rotate, hands are a bit funky, but these things, this is basically swords, <laughs> yeah, they're swords, yeah, um, obviously minimal, they're not, not even kibble really, anyway, kibble is the, uh, the mouth for the insect mood, but the rest of it, magnifique, I like it, I like it a lot, size comparison, um, I'll do an extra star screen. He's deluxe size. He's deluxe size. But he's quite... I wouldn't say he's a small deluxe. But then again, he is deluxe. And against uh, Full Savage on Grimlock, he's pretty small. And Grimlock is pretty big. And pretty shaky. Uh, he won't light up because he's a... Get that insect repellent away from me! There are flaws, then again, every bot's got flaws. I mean, just look at this dragon mode. Something's so wrong with it, but because the head, the head, head sat there, yes, I painted the head up. If the head sat down there, it'd be great. Wow, it was close, he nearly went flying. Fly away, come fly, fly away. Yeah, it's it's every bot has its problems, issues. If it's not if it's not bad plastic or bad paint apps or size issues, or the fact is that it's just absolutely fucking brilliant. Yeah, every bot's got an issue. There's no such thing as a perfect bot. If you can find a perfect bot, let me know. Because this, this is, hang on, this is, yeah, yeah. Right, here's a little thing, if people actually want to watch us and do this. Find for me, if you can do this, find the perfect bot, right? I don't care who it is, what it is. The perfect bot that does not, the bot mode does not compromise the alt mode, and the alt mode does not compromise the bot mode. If you can find one, good. Because well, we, we need them. 
they're, they're things of beauty. Please tell me, comment it, video, whatever you want to do. Just come up with the perfect bot. You're, you think the perfect bot is because it's all about personal preference. Okay? So hopefully that'll do something. That'd be quite good. Um, I'm going to say something else. And I've totally forgot because my brain is frazzled because I did a night shift. First one in... Proper one in... Four or five months now. I need a thundercracker on the skywalk now. Right, I'm blabbering on and I'm going on about shite again. Um, anything else to report? I got myself an energy on Bruticus. Yeah, he's to go with the fans project one. But the colours are too... Poppy? Poppy? Is that what I am? Too in your face. Too... Man, I, I was going to paint this guy to make him more bland and more military looking. I don't want to. It just looks really nice. This this one is hell of a lot of is a hell of a lot better than the Superior Scanderbot Superior and the Constructicon one. He's probably the best of the lot. Bit weird, feet are odd, legs can't go together really well, but apart from that, this guy was a steal about twenty something. 20. I was gonna say something else, but I can't remember. Bum bum. I've been Will. You've been you. This was Transformers Generations Full of Cybertron. Kick back. And individuality. Right, food. Sam will get out the door. Transformers. <laughs>